Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we are back with another walk around IAA TULSA. We are here in Tulsa. It's 54 degrees. Christmas is around the corner. I got a little jacket on. The wind is blowing, but there are some very hot cars here. We're going to check them out. Well, doggy. Yeah, how about a 2010 Nissan Titan? Yep, V8 version 4x4. In fact, it is a pro for X off-road. Take a look at that right there. This is a good looking truck. And I gotta tell you, I am kind of still in the market for a good looking truck. Thanks to my good friend Randy at Auto Auction Rebuilds. I kind of have a truck. I mean, it's, it's a white truck. It's got an engine, it's got a transmission, but the engine and the transmission don't really talk to each other and it doesn't get along. So they don't get along rather, yeah. Proper English, Mike, use the good English. Dr. Mary Merritt would be very disappointed. Yep, that was my English teacher, my student council sponsor, and future uh, principal and superintendent of schools where I grew up. Anyway, so that truck is on hold. I gotta find a transmission for it. I'm looking for something else to tow with, and I gotta tell you, I have never had a Nissan Titan. This is, like I said, it's a good looking truck. Let's kind of check out the inside, which is, a little dirty, but we've seen much, much, much worse. Looks like a leather interior, possibly, probably vinyl. You get your floor mats right there in the back, steering wheel cover. This is a good looking dash, but she's been used. She's been, she's been worked very, very hard. Oh, and they do have nice, yep, the key for the wheels. I bought lots and lots of cars and you don't get that. And then that becomes very fun trying to source the exact lug nut key to get your wheels off. This is nice. Was there a tow hook? I don't know. Well, yes, absolutely. Looks like a pretty good size one with the good oh, plug-in for the lights right there. Let's see what she's gonna do. What do you guys think about a Nissan V8 Titan 4x4? Ugh. This is nice. I do like the white gauges. I don't know if we have any power. I'm not guessing that we do, because it doesn't seem like much is happening right now. Uh, yeah. Nothing much is happening right here. But, ooh, here we go. Look at the gauges right there. Those look nice. You do get these uh, armrests right here. Nice little center console. Walkford Fosgate radio. Let's open the hood and see what's going on. All right, let's check her out and see what's kind of going on, right? Uh, uh, what's, what's wrong with the picture here, folks? A lot of stuff is not attached. Your intake is not attached, okay? You get a filter, it's not attached. Look how dirty, throttle body, yeah. You've got a hose here that I guess goes into here. We have a spark plug. <laughs> just kind of hanging out. Okay. He's just hanging there. Look at that. I, that's a first. That is definitely a first. And this is all apart. Your fuses and all this stuff is all just kind of laying there. This is scary. This is, yeah, this is gonna be a mess. Someone was checking the car out and they decided, nope, too far gone. Send it to the auction site. So I don't have to mess with it. Oh, that is disappointing. Doggone it. Well, I don't even want to try to start it because one, we're missing at least one spark plug. Who knows what's going on on this side of the engine. Oh, maybe it's best. Do I avoid the Nissan? Uh, let me know. Keeping with our white pick em up truck theme, 2009 Chevy Silver, Silverado. A Silverado that on this side looks really good. You may be able to see some plastic on the other side. This is a run and drive. Do we start it first or do we take a look at the damage? Let's just, let's go in here first and see how she sounds. Okay, this is another option, okay? Doesn't have the full crew cab, but I can still put stuff back here if I buy seats. Where are the seats? Oh, the seats are in the back. Can you see? Okay. 
This might be a good, oh. There's your damage. And there's your damage. Is it easy to fix? We'll find out. First though, let's just kind of see what happens. Is this even gonna be startable? I'm looking forward to that 95 F-150 from Randy. Oh, this is gonna start like nobody's business. Here we go. Oh, that sounds good. You know, I don't need a full crew cab. I don't need the big four door. I don't have friends to fit in the back seat. <laughs> but this might be a great option. You have the optional side vent right there. So the cabin stays nice and cool. The whole door has been removed and everything has been taken out of it. There's no, there's no glass. What's going on? Engine sounds really, really, really good though. So let's kind of, how do we clear this stuff here? Oh, goodness gracious. It's a beautiful day, but that wind will get you. Here, what is this? Here we go, 104,000 miles. 40, oh, this says 46 degrees. Maybe the, maybe it's, maybe the temperature's dropping. It's supposed to be really cold tomorrow. Here's your 244, that's good. Engine sounds really nice. And look at the door handle. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's a generic white pickup truck. I don't need much, I just need something to put engines and hint, hint, transmissions in. And to tow something with from occasion as I bring these vehicles home from all these different auctions. Okay. You got your basic, what is this? Uh, 5.3 liter V8. Battery looks good. This runs really, really, really well. Brake fluid looks good. Holy moly. All right, that's the good. Let's check out the bad. Here's what we need. We'll start our list. We need a door and all of the uh, accoutrements. We need a little half door and all the goodies right there. And then this, I don't really even care about. I never see it. I would never see it because I don't walk around this side of the vehicle. Look at the tread on the tires though. Whoa, these are great tires. Firestone Transforce AT2. Okay, this is also a four x four. This is what I'm looking for. You got your truck cover on the back. Let's see what's in here. We already know what's in here because, oh, is it locked? Nope, okay. Open Sesame, there's your back seats right there. Oh, and all the parts to your door. Okay. Why would they take all of the seats out in the back? Hmm. This car is idling, or this truck is idling so perfectly. Mikey likey. And she'll pull anything. Flex fuel, Silverado. And these in white are all over the junkyards. I hate to say that, but they are. Usually they have front damage. So this door would be an easy, easy, easy fix. How many Chevy whites are there? Like in a Mercedes, there's polar white, there's Arctic white, and there's something else. I like this. I'm not even really worried about that. Okay, what do you think? I am gonna have to write this number down and watch this one, because this might be something perfect. And they even tried to paint this to make it look better. You know everything's gonna work inside here, other than your window that's missing right there. So, yeah, of course, the important window works. The back window works. Oh, goodness. The mirror works. There it goes. Look, all right, 104,000 mile, 
2009 Chevy Silverado 1500 that Mikey likes. The battle of the pickups continues with this. How about a Lincoln Mark LT? She has a slight little tilt and I'll show you that in just a minute. But these are the super loaded Ford F-150s. Didn't they have a fancy one called like a Blackwood or something like that? Well, that's an indication of what's going on down below. On the front left, you have a headlight right here. Oh, you have some guns on your coffee mug, which is kind of cool. You have your wheel well liner right there. Damage wise on this side, nothing. I really want to see what the interior looks like on this one. I don't even know the year. I just saw this and I had to have it. I had to come over and take a look at it. Oh, okay. Okay, look at how nice you got the floor mats. Ooh, with the black stitching, you got your player, video player in the headbreasts. You got a sunroof. This was a super nice pickup. Wow, holy moly. Let me look right here real quick. Okay, so this isn't like air ride or anything like that, but huge huge wheels and tires now we're getting to the damage Ugh. it's like she hit a fire hydrant or something yeah that's that's pretty serious and then this this is not as serious as that part right there <laughs> i don't even think is she even she might not even open her hood for us but we okay so you need a tire plus a fender and all kinds of things I just want to see what this looks like on the inside. There we go. Look at how nice. Okay, I'm going to squeeze in. It's easy to get into a pickup when it's got three wheels. This is a nice place to be. Okay. Look how fancy. Lincoln, oh. Okay. Oh my goodness, she's not gonna start, I don't think. She's not a run and drive. She has been taken care of at the Ford place. Let's just see what's gonna happen here. Yeah, she's dead. Mileage, I don't know. This is a, I can't even see on the sticker right there. Oh my goodness, this is nice. Oh. What is this? It's Velcroed on. What is this? Four channel wireless modulator. Huh, so that must be maybe for, well, I don't know, your video system back here? Here's your DVD player. For the kids, gotta keep those kids happy. Oh, I like this. Let's just see if we can open the hood. Well, we can't even get inside. The latch is like part of everything that's like pushed back way into the condenser and the radiator. That's a lot of damage. I'm sorry, Marky, Marky LT from 2006. Wow, you were once something to be proud of. All right, of the three pick em up trucks, what do you think? Is it the Nissan, the Chevy, or the Lincoln? I love the Lincoln, but that's just a lot of damage. You still get the tow hitch though. Oh, wow, that was really nice. But I've been warned about those engines. So do we continue looking or do we go for the Chevy? I don't know, let me know what you think. I am looking for another pickup truck because it's gonna take a while to fix the one that Randy gave me. It's got uh, two transmissions that uh, were available for the 1995 pickup. I think the wrong one is in there and I gotta find the right one. But first I have to drive all the way down there and make sure the wrong one is in there and then get it a, a distributor and some other parts. So we'll do that in a video, but this is gonna end this video. So thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget all kinds of merchandise right there. And I'm continuing to sell those Monkey Wrench Mike stickers. Cash at me $3. Ben's Guy 99 on Cash App, and I'll send them to you. I had probably 10 or 12 
go out last week. So you're getting yours. If you ordered them, you are getting them. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.